What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at two different eBay Hypebeast mystery boxes. Now I have not been doing as much eBay stuff because it's kind of risky, but someone has been kind of making waves in the eBay Hypebeast mystery box world claiming to be the number one rated Hypebeast mystery box on eBay. So uh, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. So as you can see right here, we actually have two different sets of boxes. We're gonna be unboxing two different boxes. This is a $1,000 Hypebeast mystery box and this is a $3,500 Hypebeast mystery box. Now, you can see this one's packaged a lot nicer. This one I actually bought about a week ago, a $1,000 box and I ended up getting it in, unboxed, and it didn't end up being enough for one single video. So I decided to go ahead and ask the guy to go and overnight me another one if I pay for a more expensive one, which is this one right here. So this is why this one isn't as nicely packaged, but for the fact of how nicely they package this thing, it's actually pretty nice. You can see there's kith all along the outside. They've got these palm trees, there's palm spring hypebeast. Now this is not sponsored. I paid for both of these, of course. I do want to cut back and show you guys me purchasing these so you guys can kind of get an idea that I actually did buy them. But today we're just going to be comparing kind of what you would get between $1,000, $3,500, and kind of how it looks from a number one hypebeast mystery box eBay guy. So we'll be letting you know if it's worth it, if we should be buying another one, and uh, if not, then they might not get any sales. If they're good, maybe look at some sales. I don't think they know that I'm a YouTuber and stuff like that, so we'll see what happens. It's now the second week of August, I believe, and we are on eBay, and this might be the last time. Contemplated retiring the Hypebeast eBay mystery box for a while because they're kind of a scam, but I thought I'd give it one last try because there are a few people who are out there posting that they want me to buy them. Now, I don't think I'm gonna buy the one that has my name on it, because this person that comes up right here has my thumbnail in it, and it's sponsored. So they pay to have it at the top, and they have my picture on it. I don't know if I can do anything about that, if I can take it down, because I don't want it to seem like I'm the one selling it. There's like a $10,000 mystery box, there's 35, it goes all over. There's a $900 one. I've looked through a couple of these. Now, the one that I've seen is this one, number one eBay mystery Hypebeast box. They look pretty good. They have a good amount of reviews. They have over 65 reviews. It's called Palm Spring Hypebeast, not sponsored, I swear. And I'm trying to find what they got for sale. I don't know how much I want to spend. They. So let me go ahead and break it down. So the one price that I'm finding that they have, they have a 5035 I'm trying to see if there's anything in between. So like, let's go on this $1,000 one right here. Ooh, last time I spent money on eBay, I bought a Supreme Collection. This is a mystery box. This is a lot sketchier, so let's try it. I just said this might be my last one, but we're going for it, $1,000. I just saw this guy a little bit earlier this morning. I They don't have an Instagram. I'm not gonna hit them up because I'm not trying to be sponsored. $1,000, 1,020. I don't have any coupons. Let's donate to charity. Let's donate five bucks. I had 1,025. All right, 1,020. We're about to confirm and pay. 1,000 bucks. This should be relatively good. Order's placed. So I'm gonna actually message the guy and see how quick he can ship it because I do not do not want to uh, wait a month. All right guys, catch you, it's August 12th now. Hopefully we'll have a, a box by next week and you guys will see this. So who's ready for a mystery box? This might be the last one, peace out, A-Town. Also guys, this is the last chance to enter the back to school giveaways that we have going on. We have two of them. There's a back to school sneakers and a back to school backpack. That's why I'm holding these, these are part of the sneakers that are on the giveaway. There'll be two links in the top of the description to go ahead and enter into those. All right guys, it is time to open up this number one rated or self-proclaimed number one rated mystery box. As you guys can see, if we go ahead and just review the outside of it, we have a palm tree here, which I'd have to say that is a lot of detail because I don't know how much money he's making off of the box, but I would say this is a lot of detail. You have a kith bag cut out on the outside. I assume maybe that means that there's something kith inside. It says Palm Springs Hype Beast mystery box. Like this is very well put out, Palm Springs. They're getting a lot of branding, so since it's on YouTube, they that's smart by them. The back, there's nothing then it just has more kith up on the top. So I want to try this out. That's why I went ahead and did this. Now let's go ahead and open this up. He taped the entire outside. The entirety of the outside is taped. But I don't really want to mess this up too much. So I might do it from the back because I want to see kind of what we got going on. Why am I doing that? I'm just going to go ahead and cut here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Now I don't know how many items there are. This is a little bit smaller of a box than uh, I'm used to. But it was also like a thousand bucks. So the first thing I see initially is a kith bag. Now I can show you guys this. This is not a preview. But I'm sure he wanted me to open it the other way because it looks like this is kind of like a protected, or maybe everything's in this bag. So let's see, we're gonna pull out, it looks like it might be full. Yep, we got a full bag. Oh, there's two kit bags. Well, I guess this is like a kit mystery box. Let's pull this out, I hope it's not just all kit. We'll pull those out right there. This is actually some 
some pretty nice wrapping here. So let's see what we got. Wow, this is actually looks a little interesting. So let's go pull this out. We got a kit bag, of course, lots of white, and we had to redeem message us on eBay. Huh? $100 off your next box, $1,000 are up. So I guess if you bought, this is actually like legit. Like, look at this. Thank you for shopping with us. This is kind of legit, actually. Like, I, this is impressive. I've never seen much work like this. So we have a bunch of little bear bricks here. This is actually kind of cool with a Kith receipt. You ripped off the price. So this, these were all bought from Kith, the BB Mini. So I guess I'm going to open these up. I'm going to un-DS these, but I'm going to open them up just to show you guys. These are the Series 38 bear bricks. I've had a few of these in my day, not too many. Oh, yep, we got to break all the seals here. I feel bad opening all these. Let's see what we got. First things up, we have a, ooh, a Joker mini bear brick. So this is like the 100%, I guess. If you check that out right there, we have the Joker one. We'll just open all these up, even though I'd like to keep them dead stock just in case I don't keep them. But you know what? We're opening them up. Four of these. I got to figure out how to value these kind of things. We have a, this is the pattern, 8.33%. This is another interesting one. We got two more of these guys. I feel like these aren't gonna be selling like for like a huge resale. I think they're just more like toys to have. This is like opening up Pokemon cards. Then we got like a Superman or like it has an M on it. And another one right there. That one was, that's like a part of the collection. Oh, there's a Men in Black one. What was that? Then we have one more here and this one is a Ava Makos. No clue what that is. Nice little pink bear. All right, let me take a second and look these up because I don't even know what how to value these. So I just looked them up. They're going for about, like this one right here is going for $27 by itself. Then there's like the whole kit for $205. It has 23 pieces. Oh, it just has almost the whole kit. So basically this is a collector's edition. I'm thinking retail is probably like 15 bucks. He kind of took off the price, which would have been nice to see. But that's pretty cool. Nice little bear brick pieces. I've had like one or two of these before from Saru General, I believe. But that's the first thing. I don't know how to value that, but we're going to continue on. And at the end, I'll come up with a value, figure out kind of where we want to place it at. So that's the first one there. Let's put all these boxes away. Next up, we have another kit bag. I hope there's like Supreme and stuff in here, not just everything kit, but maybe that's the way that this bag is. So next up, we have a kit treats little napkin. If you guys have never been to kit, they have the little napkins there. Or they have the uh, ice cream and cookies and cereal, whatever. Next up, we have a vintage. This is from the other one. Let's pull this out. This is like a glass, maybe. Oh, yep. It says treat. See, is it? Ooh, this is the Coca-Cola Kith glass. That's actually pretty cool. Check that out. You got like the Coca-Cola Kith collab beer glass or Coke glass. Frosted cup right there. That's something pretty cool. Not sure what something like that goes for, but more uh, Kith stuff. I think I've got like one or two Kith things maybe in mystery boxes before. So next thing up is two different this one is brand new it says one size vintage box logo shirt oh oh no way whoa okay i actually really wanted these i did not realize what this was until now but these are kith they take vintage shirts and then they put their logo on it so unfortunately this one's a little bit small this one is atlanta bro i he did not message me anything saying that he like knew me or anything so i don't think he did but i don't know if this is just convenient basically they take an actual vintage shirt and then they slap the kith logo on it and this one you can't see it as much you see right there little kith logo basically source vintage shirts now they sold them at like 100 to 120 bucks i believe at the time now this one is a size medium but it's a little small for me but i really like this because jacob star and kite they were in LA and they had it there and Jacob got a NASCAR tee with the Kith logo on it which is really really cool. These aren't reselling for like a whole lot. I would say they're probably worth about 100 to 150 bucks. So we have another one here and this is a size large maybe a little bit more my style a little bit more my size and we have a New York taxi tee I guess. This one's a little bit weird. I, I don't like this design as much as I like something like that. Again this isn't my size so I probably can't wear this but they are single stitch. This one's single stitch which means it's a high quality tee. This is single stitch as well. Both of these are probably put around 150 bucks. So it's been a Thousand, but these are cool because these are one of ones like you can't go ahead and get anything like this anymore They would source individual vintage tees and then put their own logo on it So those two are really cool. I'd say like 200 250 bucks But this is a really cool collection so far but kit stuff hope there's more in here Maybe that's not kit. I mean, it's fine that it's a kit mystery box But at the same time it would be cool if it had a little bit of supreme or anything, but it's something different So I like that. I like that so far We have one two three four five six seven pieces and some napkins But I don't really count those and next up we have is there only one more piece left Dang, that's not a lot. Okay, we have three items on this receipt. They took their name off. And let's see what we have. This is a big jacket. This is, 
Whoa, so that looks like it's all that's in there. That kind of seems kind of light, honestly, unless this is like super rare. This is the Kith Navy Crimson Natural Varsity Jacket in a size 2X. I feel like I might have seen this. I feel like maybe I didn't. Let's see what we have here. This is a, ooh, this is the Coca-Cola Kit Varsity Jacket. Dang, this looks like super high quality. Golden Bear. So we have a Coca-Cola Kith Varsity Jacket. I gotta look up the value. That seems a little light. Unless this is like size medium, 799 bucks. I'm gonna do some research on these values and then uh, get back to you guys. All right, guys, so we've been going back and forth with this Palm Springs High Beast, and I'm trying to figure out how to spin this video because this was not enough. So I think we're gonna be doing a thirty-five hundred dollar mystery box. Maybe we're gonna compare a thousand versus thirty-five hundred, or just see. So I messaged him and said, basically, I would like to buy a more expensive mystery box, but one of the catches is I would like it to be overnighted if possible. So he said we can do that if you buy the five thousand dollar box. I then replied and said, if we could do thirty-five hundred, you can do other hype items, not just Kith, maybe like Supreme or Off White or stuff like that. Then we got a deal. He said, let's do it. And I said, if you can FedEx me by ten thirty a.m. tomorrow morning, we will do it. But he said we can do it. So we're going on right now, $3,500, $20 shipping, sell your box from buy it now. I should be using my credit for $100 off, but I'm doing it right now, you guys can see it's low. Alrighty, we have $3,520, confirm and pay. There you go, order was placed. Hopefully within 24 hours, that box will be here. It should be here within 24 hours if you overnight it. So the challenge is up for you. If you don't, I'm leaving a zero review on eBay. I'm just kidding. It is 24 hours later now, and we have two boxes. They got here really quick, so I'm actually pretty happy about that, but it's two separate boxes for this $3,500 box. It came from two different places, actually. Palm Springs in Miami. Now, I'm looking at the listing to see what they said about this one. This says Supreme Box, Kith Box, Yeezy Box, Nike Box, Values Recording, Psychics, and eBay. So apparently, this is worth $4,000 to $5,000, so we have two boxes. Let's go and open them up and see what we got. Compared to the first one, the first one was more of a specific, like, this one seems really light. I feel like I wanna go for the heavier one. The first one was very specific to like Kith, and I think it's a good value, and if you're a fan of Kith, it's a decent box, but it was pretty simplistic for what I was gonna do. So we're gonna open this one up here. $3,500, this is one of the most, this is pretty up there on my, my purchases for eBay. I see initially, I think this might be upside down, I see a pair of adapted BBs right here, if I'm correct. I don't know which ones these are because I've had a few of them. I've had the black pair actually. Looks like we have another white shoe box. I'm gonna put this one to the side. Let's open this up. This is Nike Adapt BB. This is Earl. I wonder if this is the one that looks like the Air Max. Pull this out. These are an interesting shoe. They did not fit me right. That's why I didn't end up keeping mine. I got them for retail. All right, here we go. We have, ooh, they are the Air Mag ones. So if you guys don't know, wait, no, it's not. This is the dark gray ones. I thought I saw the back and I thought they were the, uh, this is Nike self-lacing sneaker. So basically you press the size. I don't know if it's charged or anything. You hear that? That is the shoes lacing themselves or tightening up right there or loosening. Really cool shoe, but they don't fit me well. I don't think I would use these for like basketball performance, but a cool shoe nonetheless, you can see on the inside. I actually don't know what this specific pair is going for as far as pricing. I've seen the other ones. These are going for about, what is it, size 11? That's my size, 330 bucks. This is about retail. 330 on this, decent way to start it. Something that I've never had before. The next thing up, we have a white box. This is an OVO Jordan box. Air Jordan 12 black. Gold white, not the obvious. I think these are the uh, Jordan 12 wings. Well, it says wings right there. Yep, these are Jordan 12 wings and a size 11 is going for 440 bucks. That's not too bad. Retail is taking off. I think these are going for like 200 retail, something like that. I'm not a big 12 person. I don't really wear 12s at all. These ones are probably be end up selling, but it's a nice shoe to have to switch things up because I have not had either of these. So keep it on this box. Looks like it doesn't have too much left. There is a kit bag and I think that's it. Kith Monday program. Yep, that's it in this bag. Pretty small amount of stuff so far, but we'll see what happens this is a triple xl kit monday program what is this the jetsons family hoodie and paint this is actually pretty cool i've heard of the monday program before but i don't know exactly what it is check this out oh kit hoodies are such good quality you have the jetsons front right there this is a nice little unique piece this is an official jetsons kit collab i'll have to look up the value and put it up on the screen if i had to guess probably 250 300 a lot of the kiss stuff isn't like super reselly unless it's like the coca-cola collab and then we have the other box three items i hope this one's full of a bunch of stuff because that's kind of small so far i've not had any of these so that's 
good. Alrighty, let's see what we got. So we have another little bag here that says $300 off your next 3.5K box. Hype, 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 beast, beast, beast. I hope he doesn't count that towards the value. He did it on the last one. $300 off isn't really a part of the value because then I have to buy another one. So we'll see. Let's go. Let's see what we have. First thing we have is an orange bag here. Home print hype beast. Ooh, we have a Supreme newspaper. I've got two of these. So this is one that I bought on eBay for $9 and it came out. They're a dollar per newspaper. They were released in New York, but it is a really cool coffee table piece to have. Just something to show just for that specific day that it came out, a special edition. They're going for like 20 bucks. They're not a huge reselling shoe. Shoe, I mean newspaper. Then we have about six Supreme stickers. I've had many of these throughout my time. And then we'll go ahead and pull whatever this is out. I think we have last thing in here. This is a, oh, this is a couple shirts. First thing up, this is an, oh, an off-white do not remove. Check this out right there. You got, oh, this is a nice little cool tee. Has the off-white X. There's nothing on the front actually. Off-white tees retail for about 330, but I feel like this one's value probably around 150 bucks, 200 in my opinion. Then we have two others out of the way. We have a ooh, Supreme Escher T Light. I forget when this shirt came out. But this is a pretty cool design. I don't know if this is new, but a size large on this. This is a good color. I don't mind this one at all. And the design's not bad either. This is definitely an older shirt, but I don't know if it's new because it still has a tag on it. My guess would be it's 100 to 150. And then we have one more T here, and this is a Supreme Bruce Lee T in black. I like the Bruce Lee collab that came out. Another one that's probably around 100 to 150 bucks. Let's keep going. Now, I'm curious if these people have a store or something with all this stuff that they have. I wonder if they do. Let's keep moving. Oh, ooh, I see a Gucci bag. That's pretty good. There's two bags in here left. Boxes have a minimal amount of stuff, but I guess the values are a little bit higher. Heavy, that's a heavy kit bag and a Gucci bag. I'm gonna show you guys this right here. Maybe I'll just pull these out. Hopefully we have multiple items in each. Next thing up is we got like multiple shirts in here. Let's pull this out. From the kit bag, I wonder if these are from kit as well. Yep, we have more of the kit vintage. Please be my size. Ooh, this is a Michigan football size extra large. Like I said before, I really like the idea of this where they just kind of go ahead and source specific shirts. This is a cool one here. Another one, I put it at 150. And then we have this one right here, size extra large, Atlanta, Georgia, Kit T, another Atlanta one. This one's a little bit weird. I guess it's like a, I can't tell who's in it. I guess you got Martin Luther King and you got some of the Atlanta in there. Cool T. I don't really like the two-tone sleeves, but another 150 bucks if I had to guess. Then we have one more thing in here, another Kit T, size large. This one was $85. I kept the price on it. I assume this is just like a regular Kit T that you go and buy at the store. This one's actually pretty dope. We have a Kit on the front long sleeve and then it's embroidered Kit on the back in that Carolina blue. That actually probably wear something like this. 85 bucks, that's not bad. If this fits, I'd probably wear this. I like the colors on it, and I like that little logo. We got a bunch of shirts, and lastly is this. I hope there's more than just one item in here. I'm realistically seeing this at like 1,700 bucks, and we have a pair of Gucci something. Gucci, this looks like a slide box though. I don't know, man. Are we sure that, this, that there's nothing else? We'll see. I mean, hopefully this is like super lit, or I'm valuing this stuff wrong, but let's see. We have Gucci. These are some Gucci slides. These are actually pretty dope, but I don't know how much these are worth. These gotta go for like 300 bucks. I told I asked them to overnight stuff. I thought this would be a pretty lit box, but this is a pretty small amount. These are a size 10. These are my size, actually. These are actually pretty cool. I don't mind these. I've got two pairs of slides already, though. Oh no, let me look up the value. I just took the time to go ahead and research all the values. I actually put this shirt on because I like it. It's actually pretty comfortable. The total that I came out with was $28.50. Now that's my sellable value. Now, if you count that $300, which I don't count, that's $31.50. We're still $350 short. Where I think that he could kind of put the value at, the shoes, I, I had them at pretty much the value. These, I cannot find too much information on. I know there's a black pair on sale at Gucci.com for $590. I could say they're $590. I would probably sell them for $500, but I cannot find too much on these. Maybe they're rare, but part of me also thinks that he just went out when I bought the box and bought them at the mall or something to throw them in for the video. So, ah, it's a tough one. I just can't really find much on these. For everything else, the Bruce Lee tee, I had it priced wrong. This is at like $375. White is about 200 or 230. I've looked up selling on that. This shirt's about 75. This is 375. Thousand dollar box. It's good. I think it's a good value. Maybe I didn't give him enough time to kind of price things out how he might like to, but that's kind of where I find it at 2850. So I'm gonna ask him what he thinks. I could see where he values this right at 3500. I could see him having it right at 3500, but it's just weird in comparison to this sort of pricing. So like I said, I might have to message him and see maybe, hey, did you not have enough time to price this out properly? Or is this where you think it's at? So I don't know. eBay is tough. If you guys want to see more eBay and there's somebody out there that you think can, you know, do really good eBay boxes, you got to let me know because I don't, I, I haven't seen much. So I think that's going to be it though. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.